Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.2.2. Apple released the software a few days ago. This is my follow up where I share with you guys my thoughts about the software, my experience so far. In these follow up videos, I also like to talk about my YouTube community poll where you guys also vote express your thoughts and have some input and this helps everyone understand how everything is flowing with the software now ios 13.2.2 aims to fix various issues number one the ram management issue so when you background an application it will no longer quit in the background it will actually freeze as intended i've been testing the software over the last several days everything seems to be working just fine now another issue that apple was looking to address was the Wi-Fi and LTE issues. With iOS 13.1 and below, I had many issues with Wi-Fi not connecting properly or disconnecting with the iPhone 11 Pro, my primary device, my test device, my iPhone XR, iPhone XS, but I'm very happy to report that it looks like Apple has finally figured this one out. Fingers crossed, hopefully this stays the way it is right now. As I've been using iOS 13.2.2, I haven't encountered many issues with Wi-Fi dropping or LTE, which is great news. And again, I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro as my primary device. Before I was 13.2.2, I've experienced Wi-Fi drops, especially during FaceTime calls. And this was so annoying because the FaceTime would actually freeze. It looks like that has not been an issue over the past several days from using 13.2.2. With LTE, I was also experiencing somewhat of issues in my area. Again, iOS 13.2.2 appears to have fixed that as well. So now let's head on over to YouTube and take a look at the YouTube community poll. This week I asked, how is iOS 13.2.2 working for you? We have 5,400 votes and a 69% of you guys are having a great experience with the software so far. A 25% of you guys has an okay but still some bugs and a 7% of you guys have a bad experience. Now, one thing I've noticed, and I haven't talked about it just yet, but I will be talking about it, is battery performance issues. Now, I've noticed that before when Apple attempted to fix these LTE and Wi-Fi issues on the iPhone, it appears that the battery would be sacrificed. So it looks like Apple is having issues, at least in my experience, getting the Wi-Fi and LTE modems to work properly without damaging the battery experience. And it looks like that continues to be a trend. The software is improved, but the battery decreases in performance, at least on my experience. Once again, I want to repeat that because not everyone is having the same issues. But if we go to the YouTube community poll here, uh, the trending comments, battery concerns, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, I can't really report a major decrease in performance on the 11 Pro Max because it's such a big battery. I get through my day with no problems, but it isn't as great as it was before. Yes, we do have better Wi-Fi, better LTE connection, but again, battery has sacrificed somewhat, especially on devices with smaller batteries like the iPhone uh, XS. The iPhone 10, these devices have issues with the battery. Again, battery draining on the iPhone 10R is also an issue here on one of the comments. It works great. Battery life has been slightly better. It looks like uh, some users are actually experiencing better battery life, uh, but they don't specify the actual device. So if you leave a comment, please specify your device so we know which device you're talking about. But again, it looks like poor battery. Battery still bad. Just continues to be the trend. Again, guys, you can always come back to these YouTube community posts. They're posted every week, every time a new software comes out or every time a new beta comes out. These YouTube community posts are posted. You can comment, you can speak to the community here, and you can find out what are some of the issues to see if you're encountering the same issues as other users. But overall, in regards to battery, it has been a somewhat average, not as great as before. Again, LTE and Wi-Fi issues look to be resolved, but many users reporting battery issues. I do think you should still update to iOS 13.2.2 if you want a better experience. Again, once again, I mentioned this on newer devices, the XS, the XS Max, the XR, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. These devices that suffer LTE and Wi-Fi issues should definitely consider updating to 13.2.2. This has been my follow-up and thoughts on the latest iOS 13.2.2. The bugs are minor, nothing major to worry about, just a few hiccups here and there, nothing to worry about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.